Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. I'm the Serious Strategy Gamer, and we are starting a new series of Mountain Blade 2 Bannerlord Wizard, which has just been released. So I'm very excited about this, even though this is not the typical kind of very serious strategy gaming that you're used to on this channel. I think it's fantastic because I have played Mountain Blade 1, Warband, and all of the other ones actually uh, quite a lot. So I think this is going to be fantastic. Uh, let's see what's going on over here. I think a lot of these things are very familiar. I've just started with it with Bannerlord. Uh, but. Let's see what we can do and, and what we have. So uh, we're going to just go into here and I'm going to explain a little bit what's happening. So we can pick different things. And I had a lot of different thoughts about here. So we could, for example, play sort of the Arabian culture uh, and go for like a trader. We could also go for like a Mongolian rogue who is basically, um, well, trying to trying to be very nefidious. Maybe a little bit of, of a bandit, really. Uh, there are also other ones like these guys who I think are more like the woods persons. Then we've got the Nordic sort of Scandinavian people. We've got the Empire, which I haven't completely figured out yet. I think they are more like late Roman period Italy or something like that. So the Empire is in decline. But we're going to go ahead with the Vlandians over here. That is sort of the traditional European knighthood. Uh, faction so that is going to be useful and I think they're extremely strong here with the higher uh, XP bonuses to troops on battle so the Vlandians are the descendants of adventurers from the west who lived under the Empire for centuries before forming an independent kingdom with the decline of imperial authority they have devolved into well-organized feudal society led by a cast of warlike nobles who prefer to fight with spears and lances on horseback and that is exactly what we're gonna do so uh, let's just randomize a dude over here until I think he's relatively ready. Now I want this to be sort of a European knight, so yeah, my friend, you might you might have to do right. Footman! Yeah, I do like your voice, so that's gonna be all right. Uh, but we do will need to do something about your hair here, so I would prefer you to be clean shaven, maybe a little bit blonder and with a slightly less stupid hairdo. Ooh, there's a lot of hairdos that I didn't know existed. Right. Seriously, like a tingle tangle bob thing? No, no, no. Jesus. No on all of these. Now, I think more something like, yeah, I, th I think sort of a, a, a little bit like European Knight. You do have some weird features there. Uh, let's take a look here at your face. Let's randomize that again till we have something vaguely knightly. That's not knightly. Eh. No, but yeah, th this one. No, your nose isn't quite right. Yeah, I think we'll go with you. That's going to be all right. Don't want to spend too much time over here. Uh, the only thing I do want to do is get you to blue eyes. I think that's fine. There we go. Lovely. Change clothing. Okay, fine. Uh, we could, of course, do a lot of things like mad. We you can randomize a lot of things. Uh, we could even go with some tribal stuff. I think some scar might be alright, but not. I don't want to overdo it, you know. So maybe just a small one. What's that? Freckles? Ah, don't see it. Okay, fine. You know what? Let's do a single scar here over the mouth. I think that's alright. Good. That's fine. And the way you set up your character here is this is a fantasy world, of course. You've seen all of the factions, but uh, the way that you can do this. Oh, excuse me. I didn't actually start my timer here. Um. The way that you do this is you choose the backstory and as you choose the backstory you get certain bonuses to all of these things over here so you've got the big categories vigors control vigor basically health and and your physical strength control precision specifically with ranged weapons we don't care about that much as much endurance the physical ability cunning social intelligence so we are in the tradition of a of a European knight here so what I want to look at is of course horse riding but also the social and intelligence uh, kinds of things because they will be central to us forming a little bit of an empire here um, and in terms of weaponry I think one-handed weapons and pole arms would be fine so I think that's okay we're gonna go with a backstory here of Baron's retainers as our family so that does give us a little bit in pole arms and riding that's nice a little bit in social ability i think that's great we could also go for blacksmiths or something like that but i think baron retainers are fine right and then you sort of go through your life over here and see what you can do in uh, certain periods of your life you could go with way of people that um, gives us bonuses to leadership and charm but i think uh, we'd want to go for leadership skills here so with tactics 
and leadership. I think that's fine. So that is what we'll be noted for. You could, of course, go for brawn. So two-handed weapons, throwing weapons, that kind of thing. Attention to details. Uh, so it could go with a trader, but we are going to go with a European knight. Now, the adolescence period is the one that I find just doesn't match up with that backstory, really. Uh, we could hurt the sheep. That gives us a little bit of this. Worked in family smithy. Now, I think all of these are not really great. So I think if we are saying that we are sort of the no lone um, uh, ability, I think hunted small game might be the best one over here. Yeah, let's go with hunted small game. Well, it does give us control. Leadership and tactics is fine. I don't think we'll ever go with a lot of bow shooting. Endurance might be fine. And scouting is also nice to know, as is gather but gathering herbs. Come on, we we, we were hunters. And in our youth, uh, we did serve as Baron's Groom, so that does give us even more tactics. Uh, and a little bit of stewardship, which I think is fine. And of course, it does tie well to our backstory. We could also go with cavalry, of course, pole arms and riding. But yeah, no, I think Baron's Groom is, is fine. That is what traditionally knights would do, right? So yeah, that's okay. Before you set off your life as an adventure, what did we do? Uh, so we could have defeated an enemy in battle. That would give us a slightly better uh, weaponry hunt. Uh, weapons there. We could go with a successful manhunt. That would give us more tactics and slightly more leadership, which would be great, actually. Um, we could, of course, go with an, uh, with an famous escapade in town as well. That would give us a little bit of roguery. I don't think that's that's quite as important. Animal hunting. No, no, no. Investment? No, that's for merchants. We are no merchants. I think we um, did a manhunt over here. So we are good at tactics. We are good at leadership. I think that's that's fantastic. I would like to be a little bit better at riding and pole arms, uh, but I think that's all right. And then in your story background, like many, many families in Col Colradia, your life was upended by war. Your home was ravaged by the passage of army after army. Eventually, you sold your property and set off with your father, mother, brother and your two younger siblings to a new town you'd heard was safer. But you did not make it. Along the way, the inn at which you were staying was attacked by raiders, your parents were slain and your two younger siblings were seized. But you and your brother survived because we subdued a raider. Now that would give us a slightly bit of athletics and one-handed weaponry and I think I would like that. Arrows? No, that doesn't, doesn't sound uh, knightly. We could ride them, uh, ride them off with the fast horse. Better riding and better scouting. That won't not be bad. Now, trickery, I don't think that is something for us. We could organize them. That would give us a little bit of charm and a little bit of leadership and more social. Um, but honestly, I think subduance would be great so that we gain some vigor, some athletics and some one-handed fighting here. I think that's great. So, uh, our name is going to be Normand, Alri, Arbold... <laughs> Leothold? Leothold? Sounds fine. You look like a Leothold to me. Do we want to go with that? Oh, you know what? We are going to go with Brian. I think Brian is a, is a perfectly fine name, um, and that's great. In terms of the di difficulty, we're going to go with realistic on all fronts, so we don't want to make it too easy on ourselves here, so that I think is going great going to be great and we're going to enable permadeath so we are need to be careful in this series and see what we can do right so the game starts out of course in a tutorial i don't think we're going to go to uh, through too much of the tutorial here um, you basically learn a couple of things but honestly i think we'll just uh, keep on talking about these things um, and what we can do so we're going to just skip ahead uh, and just get dropped off here and basically the backstory is uh, we will be getting some item. So after a few hours you leave the training ground, you come across a wounded man lying under a tree. You share your water with him and try to dress his wounds as best as you can. He tells you he is a traveling doctor. Uh, to thank you for your help, he hands you a small bronze artifact, which he says was once given to him in payment by a warrior who said only that it was related to Nerazzetti's folly. He suspects it might be of great value. You resolve to find out more. So we're going to go ahead with a family name here and I'm going to call ourselves Von Berg. So sort of a, I think, semi-aristocratic uh, name. And we can choose our banner over here now. I think sort of an eagle would be fantastic, wouldn't it? That looks a bit weird. We're not the Luftwaffe here, we're just Imperial Eagle. 
So shall we go with, with a nice blue color scheme, white on blue maybe? How's that white? Really? Mm. Oh, that's nice actually. Yeah, but it's not really medieval, is it? No, no, no. You know what? Let's get let's get, let's get yellow and blue. I think that's fantastic. Good. So this is us. This is our character, and uh, we can choose a couple of different things here, including focus points. Now, the focus points that I want to choose is potentially stewardship. Uh, because that will allow us to get party size uh, increase. So I think that's uh, going to be great. So I'm going to uh, spend a little bit in that regard. That's fine. And then we can make some choices here. So basically this is the skill tree. Again, there's vigor, control, endurance, cunning, social and intelligence. Um, because in tactics we are already at level 45, uh, we can pick one of these... Um, things over here uh, and what we're gonna pick is simply the one that we can pick so that's gonna be all right and in terms of leadership uh, there are two alternatives here so let's see what we can do and um, I think we're gonna go with the medium XP bonus uh, per day to the less experienced troops so basically we're gonna raise up our troops uh, a little bit fast over here instead of having a small bonus to everyone so I think that's great and that is fine so we do have a, a couple of quests here and uh, we do need to build up our wealth. We do need to grow our party to uh, 20 men and we need to hire a companion. We also need to find out what it is about this bronze artifact uh, that was given to us. This is our party. This is the map. And you can see it's quite complicated and every every little holding. So these are the big cities. You can see there are smaller villages associated with that and all of these are associated with barons and families and they all have uh, these complicated dynamics going on. So I think that's pretty fantastic. Uh, we are starting down here. Now I think we would like to go a little bit here to this region because this is actually um, a little bit more uh, our Vlandian culture. So I think we're going to get over there, try to hire a couple of people along the uh, way and just try to establish ourselves really in the lands over there um, so let's try to get to back to our homelands we can travel around over here you can pause at any time so I think that's fantastic there's a big big party over here um, and what you can do is you can click on these guys you'll probably just meet up with them uh, and yeah you get over here so these people are looking sort of grimly and we can say hey I'm Brian um, and he is Farron off the house of whoever our family has stood in the Senate and so on and so forth. So that's nice. Uh, we can ask about Nazareth's folly. And that is uh, what has uh, what the people call the Great Battle of Pendriac in the battle in the year 1077. So, Emperor Nerezitis, Latin army accompanied by Krasidids. These are the, sort of the Mongolians. And Azurai, I didn't quite remember these guys, to fight a coalition of people. It was a disaster for him, he died in it, but the victors didn't fare much better. I see. Can you tell me anything about it? I wasn't there, but Lucon has some sorts on it. So this is the ruler of the Northern Empire, actually, and we might meet him at some point right now. Um, I don't think we are going to get to him, so that's all right. So yeah, that was a brief chat over there. And what we can do is also just visit a village over here, and you can do this various time, uh, very in various ways, so you can do with that just on this uh, surface, but you can also take a walk through the lands, it's gonna load up over there and it's gonna put us into the village and here you can actually see the 3D interface. So this is us, where's actually the village? Is it over there? It's down there. Yeah, so you can see we are riding along over here and we can go ahead and just uh, pick up our weapons, our lance, our other things. What are you doing here? Sort of vineyard things. And you can see there is uh, sort of the mayor over there. And I think that's fine. Let's try to get over there. There's the tutorial. Let's get try to get rid of that message. So where is the gentleman? Oh, he, the, he is up over there. Come on. Let's see what, whether we can talk to him, whether he has any job for us, anything. Okay, he's on that side. And honestly, I really love the, the graphics. It's, I mean, it's not the literal best, but it's so nice, actually. So let's uh, ride over to you and ask what's the deal. So I'm Brian, uh, he's Fanon, he's lived there all of his life, yada yada, so that's nice. Um, do we have a quick question? Never mind. Okay. Well, I guess we gotta leave. Didn't you have a job for me? 
Okay, apparently you didn't. Fine. We could go to the market on all of that. Oh, that's another person over there. Interesting. He has an available issue, so we could deal with him and he might have to do some something for us. We can also go ahead over here and buy stuff, and indeed I do think we need to buy a little bit of stuff. Uh, specifically we want to buy potentially some, um, I'm gonna say butter, so that our party does have some stuff over there. There's not that much more to buy in a village like this, so I think that's alright. We could recruit a couple of people, uh, except that here apparently we can't, so yeah. Um, deliver the herd. Okay, so he wants us to deliver something um, of a couple of animals. Now, I don't think we're going to do that, uh, because, come on, that's a shepherd's duty. We, we don't do shepherd's duties. Now, here is the first hostile group. It's a couple of looters. Now, I don't think we're going to deal with these guys. They are a little bit too many for... Well, now, they caught up to us. So, indeed, I think we do need to fight you. So, let's see what we can do over here. Now, we don't have any men. We're, it's just us for now. So, uh, yeah, you can go switch between third person view and uh, f first person. And now I'm going to talk a little bit about the pets as I'm going to go ahead. So, as you can see, we are equipped with a spear and a uh, shield. We can get rid of the shield, actually. That makes us a little bit better with the, uh, um, with the spear. And you basically have two ways of attacking with the spear. So, uh, when you're on horseback, at least. Oh, ouch, we were being hit there. So, either you can... Uh, sort of deliver an underhand blow like this or you can deliver an overhand blow like this now These are a lot more difficult to coordinate As you can see we were being blocked there, but of course uh, they are very well aimed at uh, the heads of people So that's nice. Uh, let's see whether we can ride along these guys and Charge them now. These are of course a lot of people and they're throwing stones as up as up <laughs> at us Which is not really nice but um, it is kind of nice because we are on a horseback and so we should have some advantage against them over here. Now I'm slightly better at doing this in first hand, so uh, in first person view, so let's try to do that. Well, at least 60 damage delivered there. So this is going to take a little while over here until we get overwhelmed these guys. Um, hopefully at least. <laughs> uh, so. Ouch! Um, yeah, actually our horses isn't doing uh, fantastic over here. You can see it does have very little health there on the bottom right. Ouch! And that is a problem because now um, it is... Okay, we are gonna die over here. Okay, that's a great start to the series, isn't it? Now, we shouldn't have really taken on this fight. Uh, but uh, yeah, that's just what happens. So these guys have overwhelmed us pretty badly, actually. So um, that doesn't matter too much. I think we are not dead yet. We are just captured. Usually you are just captured. So yeah, we are being taken prisoner. Uh, they will take us around or a little bit over here. Uh, and at some point they uh, will uh, make our escape, basically. So yeah, you find a chance to escape. So there we go. So really, losing isn't the end of the world. You do lose a bit of equipment, you lose a little bit of standing and all of this. So that's not great, but honestly, um, it's just the beginning, so we didn't lose too much over here. We didn't even have too many units uh, that were around, so I think that's fine. Okay, let's try to get to this city up there, see whether we can recruit a couple of people there. We do even have still quite a bit of gold left, a thousand gold, so that's fine. There's a castle over here, so there's a lot living in there of the Western Empire. Now, I think we want to go out to our homelands, basically, recruit a couple of people there. Right now, the good thing is we don't have any expenses, so that's fine. Now, let's take a brief look here at the city. I don't think we need to spend too much time here, but we can trade and see whether they do have a couple of good things. So, for example, we might want to have a look at your... Okay, we don't have anything right now, not even food. Okay, so we do need to deal with that. But at least we do have most of our equipment. Now, we could go with a couple of these things, really. Don't think we need too much of this. Um, well, we do definitely want some grain um, so that we can feed ourselves, so let's buy that. And then we can, can think about uh, upgrading our horse. Now, currently, um, our horse here has different stats. You can see that it's basically here on the right, uh, and on the left, you can see the desert horse. Now, uh, the horse on the right has much lower speed 
much lower uh, maneuverability, but slightly more hit points compared to the Bad Desert Horse. So, same here with the Midlands Palfrey. So the Midlands Palfrey is more maneuverable than the Desert Horse, but it's not quite as fast. Still, I think the Desert Horse is going to be nice, so we're going to buy that, exchange our horses here, and uh, we're going to keep the Sumpeter Horse around, uh, because it does give us some inventory capabilities. So that is fantastic and, and fine. We do have a slightly better horse now, and that should also allow us to uh, deal a little bit better with the things that we've just uh, witnessed over there. Right, anything else that we want to buy over here? Well, we could go with a lot better armor and all of this, but uh, just look at the expenses over here. So, yeah, I don't think we are going to buy any of this at the moment. Well, hat armor would be fantastic. I'm mostly worried actually about my feet, and you don't really have that much better armor in that regard. So that's all right. Let's see whether we can recruit a couple of people over here. Well, we could go for Imperial recruits, but I think we are not gonna. We are going to go straight towards our uh, homelands over here. So let's see whether we can get over there and uh, simply get back to my guy. Over there you are. Uh, I'm gonna accelerate time here just so that we are passing over there a little bit faster. If there's anything like a small group of raiders, we might want to take them on before. There's a group of seven looters. Uh, I think we're not gonna try to engage them. Indeed, we're going to try to run away, and you can see we are making our way across the land over here. Let's briefly stop in the city. Maybe we do have something interesting to see. A couple of guys over there. Let's see. Can we trade something over here? Well, you do have a couple of interesting weapons. Now, this is one I'm, I'm very interested in, because it is a lens that we can couch with. So, that would be very useful. Um, so, do sort of a jousting maneuver there. You actually have good armor over here. You have very good armor over here. Especially lack armor might be useful. Camel saddles we're not going to use because we of course are riding horses. Who do they take us for? Right, so there's a large variety of weapons over here. Uh, but honestly really the one I'm interested in is the Imperial Light Lance. It's a couching weapon. It is a weapon tier 3. It has the same thrust damage, sorry, the same thrust uh, speed, does have slightly more length, it does have slightly more damage and a lot more length, so yeah, we are going to buy that, and then the Knight's Lance uh, we might as well sell. That's fine, you can see our grain has gone down by one point because it's only us, uh, so we are not really consuming too much of that, so I think that's alright. Any specifically very cheap helmet or anything like that? No. Okay, that's fine then. Let's do it like this. So I think this is going to be our first weapon there. We're going to pay a little bit for that. Um, can we recruit home troops from here? No, it's just Imperial troops. Uh, so we might as well leave and then get over here towards Sargot. And again, accelerate time here a little bit. There's a day and night cycle. Oh, interestingly enough, we do have a hideout over here. Now, I don't think I have the men to deal with that. A couple of people over here. We could speak to all of them. Oh, forest um, bandits. And it's only two of them. And I think two we can take on. Even though it's extremely dark. So let's fight them. And attack them. And see whether we can do a little bit here with the video. Because I think it, a little bit brighter would be fantastic. I'm not sure how much you can see over here. I can't actually see a lot. So yeah, we do need to, we do definitely do need to uh, go ahead here with the video and do do a little bit on the on the brightness. It is a little bit unfortunate that I think something like this might be a little bit better over here. Uh, now this is looking really white to me. It's not ideal, but. Let's see whether we can fight future battles in the daylight a little bit more. I'm actually struggling to see the enemy over here. They usually start out fairly in front of you. It's only two guys. So... Where are you? Where is the enemy? 
It's it's a pity that the game is so dark, and I'm suspecting that YouTube might be. Oh, there they are. Right. Let's go ahead and. <laughs> A hundred damage delivered over there. That's nice. So let's take a big swing around and come back around like this. There they are. Ah, that was a miss. Unfortunate. Okay, let's go back to first person view here. I think that's fine. And there on the right you can see we are now have the couching symbol. So that means we should be a little bit better at attacking them. Now these guys are archers, so... Nice, there we go. Killed one person. The other one is still around. Let's come back around. Slow down our horse for the... For the rever reserve of it. Okay, we did manage to do some damage over there. Honestly, I did like the couching a little bit better in the original um, Bannerlord. Uh, not Bannerlord, there we go. That's the second guy, so that's fantastic. We have Warner here for the first time, actually. So that's nice. We're gaining a little bit of renown and morale. Um, we can actually take these guys prisoners, and I think I'm going to take this one gentleman prisoner. Uh, we are taking some arrows here from uh, as loot. It's not too much, but I think it's alright. Um, and then we can get on with our journey towards Sargot over there. Um, let's accelerate time so that we are actually getting over there. Be a little bit slow over here. Okay, you are trying to engage us. Now, you are four people and I don't really want to engage you so that's okay something is going on over here there is a battle with 189 people at some point we might be able to deal with that but not right now right okay we are going through the forest over here I'm not sure that is the best route but we can sort of circle around over here and get into the city Ooh, there's a couple of mountain bandits I don't hope I hope they're not engaging us Six people is a little bit too many for us right now. But yeah, as we're getting into this little village over here, or this city actually, this home city, we can firstly trade and we're going to sell off these arrows because they're not very useful for us. Um, but more importantly, um, do we need anything from this stuff? Now they don't really have, actually have that great weaponry. Yeah, sword that is slightly stronger. But yeah, selling is just a little bit better. So that sell will do a little bit for us. There are a couple of people over here. None of them do currently have any jobs for us. But that's all right. Uh, we can recruit troops over here. No, we can't. But um, yeah, that's okay. We are at least over here. So um, we could try take a walk around there. Uh, but I think what I'm going to do here is going to try to get to one of these villages here first. And actually recruit a couple of people. Because just going at this alone is going to be extremely difficult. And I think uh, we want to set up a good party of our own men, build a little bit of a warband. And unfortunately, I can't get anyone over here to, to actually uh, join me. Nevertheless, let's do buy a little bit of grain here um, so that we have some stuff for ourselves. And let's try to visit the next village down there. We do have a modifier of some sort. What is that? Sort of a pickaxe? Uh, sort of a... Hey thingy? I don't know. Can we recruit anyone over here? Yeah, we can recruit our first guy. So that's fantastic. It's going to cost us $20, uh, but that's fine. We don't we don't have to do that much more. That is the first guy, and we're going to give him a steady bonus here every day, and that is fantastic. We can also, at some point, potentially recruit um, the one that we have captured. So that would be nice as well. Yeah, and over here, recruiting three guys. That's fantastic as well. And you can see, at some point... We might actually recruit a couple of uh, slightly better guys. Now, um, we should really buy a lot of stuff over here. And I'm recognizing that I can sell you grain with a little bit um, with a little bit of a bonus there. This is not trading. We are a knight, so we shouldn't really be trading. Uh, but yeah, here we go. So, this is the first beginning of war, our little warband. So, we've got five people. Um, they're not great basically just these guys so they basically have some sort of long stick it might even be a spear and um, they're not costing us a lot but yeah we do need to upgrade them over time so at that point though we might be getting actually better men so that is nice um yeah let's see what is going to come out of that do leave uh, do let me know whether you like the series 
Uh, I know it's something very different. Um, yeah, but nevertheless, a like and all of that would be appreciated. So, thank you guys for watching. So, hope to see you around next time. Bye bye.